through to our website. We refresh it. Look how cool it is. It's all black. Hello world, this is my text. Now you're th well, that's basically how to change your colors. But now you're thinking, well, what if I don't want a color? I want to be an image. So you want to go to Google or any other images you want you have, or if you have images on your computer that you want to post up. And uh, I'll just type in sun for now, just to get some images. Get these getting pictures of the sun. And you can either get the URL, but or you can right click it and save the image as. If you save the image as, it's going to take up more room on your um, in your website. And if you're using a free trial, probably going to run out of room soon. But the good thing is that it's going to load up the image really fast. But if you get the URL, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to copy the URL. But it's going to load up a lot slower. So instead of BG color. It's not BG color anymore, it's just background equals. You want to edit in body too. Just paste that URL with this all long code. And you want to just end it with quotation marks. And if you save that and go to our file, let's see the changes we made. Whoa, hello world, this is my text. And notice that it like repeats the image over and over again, so just keep that in mind. And I'm not going to get too complicated on how to do that, on how to fix that, because yes, it's just going to get confusing and stuff. I don't want it to confuse you for now. And it looks kind of creepy, so I'll change it, I'll change it back to black. As it's kind of hard to focus. So, so, so it's black now. So if you refresh that, it's still black. Hello world, this is my text. But now you're thinking, well, what if I want, like, only this thing to be I, only, I want my I want there to be like a shadow that says white that I'm, I want it to be white around my hello world this is my text thing and I want a border around my text to make it all look cool so to do that this is where it gets kind of complicated and you have to remember memorize stuff is you have to uh, type in table close the table TR, oops, TR, TD, TD, because now you want to copy the code, it's big code, and that big, whatever, and you want to paste that in there, and if you save it right now, it's not going to make a lot of differences, let's see, yeah, because we stopped telling it to go to the um, center, hello world, this is my text thing, that's our code and doesn't do much so you didn't see any differences except going to the left because it doesn't have any effect on paragraph if you make it in a table so keep that in mind so you might as well erase this and in table you want to edit it like this is where you want to edit it if it wants to be in the left um, center or right so we want to type align equals center for now and you want to type in bg color for background white so if we save it right now, look at our text. It's over here. Hello world, this is my text. So you have this imaginary border around, which is invisible for now because we didn't make a border yet. But this, we have this. It's sort of what we wanted, but we also want a border around our text. So you want to keep editing table, and then you want to type in border equals quotation marks. And there's a lot of styles, there's like 1 to 10 or something like that, I don't really remember. You just want to like test it and stuff. You can write like 1, it's like a really thick um, border. There's not a lot of width, but I'll just write 5 because it looks cool. It's sort of my favorite. And if we save that, save it, and go to our files, refresh it. See this border? That's the style, number 5. And it automatically ex expands and stuff and that's basically how to make borders and you're thinking well what's the point of this it doesn't really do anything it's just basic text and how do you make it like the website look all cool so if you think if you think you're a know-it-all you're not because the table a lot of a lot a lot of websites mostly usually all the websites use the um the border thing the table 
and I really recommend using it and also in TD you can edit it and say um, if you want your text to be on the align center right or left like if we go to right here if you type in center it's gonna go well you can't really make a difference now because it's set to automatic go to border and edit it and say width like 500 500 and the height to be like 500 we save that and refresh it whoa look at this thing and well we well we don't want the text to be like on the left we want it to be in the center or right so you want to edit the td align equals oops line equals oh, what's going on? okay so you want to write equals ah i'm pressing center enter right next to me line equals center and save that and the text is in the center but now you're thinking wait let me just erase this because it's kind of awkward but now you're thinking well how about how do you make like this how, well, how do you make like another border like tables that that this can be by its side like another table or down another table here let me show you so if you write you can the good thing about tables is that you can edit them and write more and more tables the more you the, the, mer the more the merrier you can write as many tables as you want but if you edit it TD and and on TR you edit more TD look if you write in TD Close the TD and you write, "Hello guys, Oops. hello guys." Let's save that. Look what's gonna happen. Cause we already made it 